So, Matt, uh, one of the things that I look back at last season, obviously he busts his thumb up and he struggles and the team struggles, but then you go down and win in Chicago. And I always just thought, it had Aaron come out and said, you know what, this season's been tough. We're fighting. We're competing. I love the way these young players are going. Uh, the, we're growing together. I want to finish my career here. And he didn't make any of those declarative statements. But had he just kind of done that instead of all of the uncertainty that he had at the end of the season, do you think that changes the mindset of Goody and the front office? And if he had been really engaging with them, or do you think that this was written because they didn't make the playoffs, this was always going to be the end result? Well, it was interesting because what Aaron told me was that um, in the week after the season ended, when he was kind of hanging around Green Bay doing his exit meetings, and uh, he said that the Packers told him that they wanted him back. And they wanted him to retire in Green Bay. They wanted him to stay. And what Aaron said to me, and this didn't make the story, but he said in February something changed. Um, a couple weeks later, Aaron goes on his darkness retreat. Before he goes into his darkness retreat, he told me, he texted Goody and said, I hear some stuff simmering. You know, let, let's all sit down, me, you, and Matt. And um, when he came out, he heard from Dave Dunn, his agent, that the Packers were supposedly shopping him to multiple teams. And Aaron at that point said, all right, you're already talking to Goody, Dave. You handle it. I don't have anything else to say to him. The stuff about him not, Goody not being able to get in touch with him in late January when he went out to L.A., that's like, uh, I'm ready to be done with that storyline because both sides have their, their perspectives on that. It doesn't matter what I believe, what I think. But that was in late January. Then Rogers feels something changed in February. Then he goes into the darkness, um, comes out. And then here we are with, with him wanting to go to the Jets. But it's very clear that this offseason, and this is part of the reason I wrote this story and, and had it span back a couple of years, was Goody not being able to connect with Rodgers was not the only reason they traded him. It, it's kinda, it was kind of a last straw. Uh, 